Good morning. I'm about to make some home fries for breakfast and um, I just wanted to show you this. See this? Russet Burbank potatoes. Certified grown in Idaho, 100% Idaho potatoes. So, <clears throat> all of that sounds very wholesome and wonderful, gluten free because everybody worries about gluten and potatoes. It's ridiculous. In any case, um, you know, nothing here really tells you that this is a GMO product and for all intents and purposes, you would think, okay, well, Luther Burbank was a famous um, horticulturist. He did a lot of uh, nice uh, hybrid uh, introductions of different plants, you know, and anything, anytime you see the word, the name Burbank, you think, oh, yeah, you know, I can trust that name. <clears throat> and I was actually thinking about, you know, because these are nice potatoes, right? I'm thinking, oh, you know, maybe we could, um, you know, if they start to sprout, maybe I'll plant a couple of these. I'm thinking, you know, uh, heirloom type potatoes. Because, you know, Luther Burbank did his, his uh, work back in the uh, 20s and 30s, I believe. Maybe 40s and 50s. I don't remember exactly what it was. <clears throat> um, in the early 1900s. And uh, anyway, but it comes, to, to, it turns out that this russet Burbank potato variety is actually GMO. Um, and, um, you know, <coughs> it's not, well, it's not exactly genetically modified organism. It's genetically engineered. So in other words, they didn't take, uh, you know, the genetics of a rat or a grasshopper. <coughs> to make a new potato variety, but uh, they. So I found myself needing to, uh, you know, look at my my facts before I go on railing on about this thing. So apparently, uh, Luther Burbank did develop a potato and a rust potato called Russet Burbank. However, uh there's this company, I can't remember what it's called now, but anyway, <clears throat> they they made a second generation of the Russet Burbank variety. So they took the variety Russet Burbank and they kind of tweaked some of the genes in there to make it, um, so let's see, it's, uh, it's able to be stored at colder temperatures to reduce food waste, <clears throat> and it reduces, uh, bruising in the the potato contains less acrylamide which is a cancer causing substance that is formed when the potato is cooked at high temperatures so um you know this this uh i guess what they did with the genes is they did some kind of gene sil silencing and i can't begin to explain what that 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 is now it's done and what it actually does but Anyway, like I said, it doesn't have anything to do with uh, inter inserting any kind of uh well, no, they did something something about trans transgenic. So I'm not sure exactly. I read a couple articles, and the whole thing is a little blurry. But um, the long and short of it is that <coughs> companies like McDonald's and Frito Lay you know, the potato chip company, they refuse to to use that potato. They just, they're not, they're not going to do that. Um, so anyway, um, so it's like they took, supposedly they took uh, genes from a wild potato in Argentina and, uh, <clears throat> took the russet, the russet Burbank, and uh, so it's supposed to also, uh, I guess the, the native uh, Argentinian potato is supposed to help um, with the late blight issue. That's the same 
the same disease organism that um, caused the Irish potato famine. So, uh, you know, which is uh, apparently still prevalent, still the main, the main pathogen that uh, destroys potato crops in the world, all over the world. So, anyway, whatever the case may be, <coughs> um, I'm going to use up that bag of potatoes because my husband bought it. You know, you know, I wouldn't, actually, no, I was going to, I was going to say, you know, if I had seen that potato that bag of that five pound bag of potato in the supermarket, I probably would have bought it because it says you know it has that that Burbank name on it, and I'm like, wow, you know, I'm totally thinking, well, I'm gonna save some potatoes so I can plant them in my garden and I can have some real Burbank potatoes. But anyway, so the long and short of this little piece right here is that you really have to be careful you know when you're trying to stay organic and non-gmo you have to be very very um on top of things you know you have to have both eyes wide open you know and uh, <laughs> you know don't fall for these things you have to just be looking out for and you know I mean everything kinda we catch up to the stuff before you know, as it's coming to us, you know, we don't really know what's happening. But, you know, you fool us once, okay. Alright, you got me one time. But don't just, don't let yourself be fooled twice, okay? That's all I have to say about that. So, <sighs> thanks for watching.